Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Let's have a look at the nature of the curve. When vehicles go over bridges or down a physical dip, we briefly see more of the underside. We also see them angled downwards. Here we have trucks going over a slight hill. And as you can see, as they start to go down, the back end rises up slightly before being obscured by the higher top of the hill. So this is what we should see happening at any distance, if we can still see a ship or a vehicle as it goes down over a curve, like this truck here, we should see it briefly tip up and we should see more of the underside. Less of the top side. Okay, of course this isn't the same scale as a, an ocean liner, but if that's what's happening with the ships as they go into the distance, then that's what we should see. Now, let's look at horizons and perspective. A long, straight road, viewed at ground level, brings the horizon closer. There is a blind spot, which the undersides of vehicles disappear into. This is an optical effect, which is not due to any geographical features. So here is a long, straight road. The camera is resting on the ground. And we can see some mirage and refraction effects there, but essentially the vehicles are going off into the distance and getting smaller. And the undersides are disappearing. Tilting. They're just going into the vanishing point. So the, 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 the horizon line, by going down, has been brought closer to the viewer. So this starts to cut off the undersides of the vehicles at a much shorter distance than if we were standing up, watching them disappear into the distance. If I stood up now, we would see that white van in full. So you can see some refraction going on there, and the cars up here. This is, this is zoomed in. And obviously with something smaller we get a lot more distortion in the distance. And now you can see what looked like a motorcycle is actually a motorcycle with a sidecar on it as well. As that comes closer, we can make it out. Of course, we could see the light at quite a great distance. Now, this truck, as it goes into the distance, you can see it dip down slightly there. And as it goes further and further away, gradually the wheels will disappear. They'll appear to sink into the ground. But of course, it's staying level. And this is the effect we see happening to ships as they go off into the distance. We see the hull start to disappear. Completely different effect to those vehicles going over the bridge. Of course, once they are over the hump and back on the level, then they they sink, but as they go down over that curve, they angle down. So just zooming out now so you can see how far away that was. Now we'll just keep the camera zoomed out. There are some vehicles approaching in the distance. So this shows how much smaller and indistinct the vehicle is until it gets closer. Out of speed there. Okay. And this one can see. Dip down there and go 
wheels have disappeared. And he'll do the same again as he gets further away. There is a, a kind of blind spot there, a halfway point, a sweet spot, as it were, which the cars and vehicles seem to dip into, but there is no dip there. This is the straightest and most level road I have found so far in all my tests. You see on the right-hand side there, we've got the motorcycles almost half obscured by this. And these chaps are traveling a lot slower, but as you can see, they are gradually shrinking and the undersides appear to be sinking. This is the effect we see as ships disappear into the distance. So this optical effect is happening way before any geographical or physical curve. They are separate phenomena. Objects that tilt as they go over a curve and other objects which disappear into the vanishing. So we must be clear, we must at least get rid of this assumption that as we see ships disappear in the distance, they are going over a curve. They are not the same things. These are separate things happening. This is an optical effect, which happens eventually at any height. It just increasing our height makes the horizon more distant. A shallower angle, as it were. So the same thing happens wherever the surface, the ground or the sea, water, meets the sky. Yes, we have refraction going on, we have mirages going on. That's all part of it. It's all part of the optical, visual phenomenon that we see. You'll notice as the vehicles seem to sink into the ground, they're keeping completely level. They're not tilting in any way. And there we see a, a car, a van in the distance. We can't see the wheels at the moment. Both of those vehicles far enough away to not see the wheels at all. We can see the rest of them fine. So of course down here the atmosphere is at its thickest. So of course we, we just get a much more enhanced view of what happens. Of course without zooming in those cars would disappear from our vision a lot sooner. But we know that we can zoom in and recapture them. So there you go, there is a difference between 
vehicles going down over a curve and vehicles going off into the distance on a flat plane. Thank you.